The man convicted of murdering his 16-year-old ex-girlfriend was formally sentenced today. Frank DeLeon Jr. accepted a plea deal to serve 45 years in prison. Our Michelle Choi joins us live from Southwest Houston. And Michelle, the victim's family did not show up in court today. Yeah, that's right. 16 year old Diamond Alvarez's family instead held a news conference here at the offices of Fiel, the civil rights group, where they claim that for the past 48 hours they've been getting harassed and threatened. It's why the family says they did not come to the courthouse this morning for the formal sentencing of 19 year old Frank DeLeon Jr. Diamond's mother telling us it was a difficult decision to make. Horrible because I want it to be for her to the end but for our safety. We decided to stay home. DeLeon's family, however, did attend, including his mom, who was banned from the courtroom after being part of the fight that ensued between DeLeon and Diamond Alvarez's family on Tuesday when DeLeon accepted a plea deal. That brawl led to some procedural changes in court today, the judge not allowing any video or audio recording. There were also at least 14 deputies surrounding the courtroom during the final phase of DeLeon's 45 year sentencing. Harris County DA Kim Ock speaking to us after. The sentence reflects the brutality of this young man's crime and it should be a deterrent to anyone else who lacks the impulse control. Prosecutors say DeLeon shot his 16 year old ex-girlfriend more than 20 times near their Southwest Houston neighborhood park in January of 2022. That this case is a good example of the way things should work. It was resolved in under two years. That's almost a record here in Harris County in homicide cases. Diamond's family says they want to move forward. What I'm going through is not a life that I have to watch my back, that I can't go nowhere. Because we're scared. And they're ready to heal. I just want peace. That's what I want. Yeah, Diamond's family says they have already filed police reports about those alleged threats, excuse me, alleged threats, and Houston police are now investigating. Back to you. Yeah, it's terrible to hear that the victim's family is potentially dealing with that on top of their loss. Michelle, thank you.